me. This is my kit I need to get on the back of my bike. My name is Jeffrey Taylor and I'm a red-headed filmmaker. For a while now, I've heard about the largest ginger gathering in the world, in Breda, Holland. The festival is now in its ninth year and this bizarre phenomena is inspiring other redhead gatherings globally. As a ginger myself, I was curious as to why gingers felt the need to attend. So I finally packed my gear on my bike and travelled Dutch style to the festival. I wanted to know why gingers were drawn to such festivals and why they kept on coming back. I suppose I didn't get it. I just don't see my hair colour as being an important part of my identity anymore. Besides, I was used to being the only ginger. I understood that we were only 1-2% to of the population, but still, does that give us the excuse to have a weekend devoted to us? Drivers, oh. along with their passengers, please. As we arrived in Holland, it was finally time for me to meet my extended family. Would we get on? I, wanna be close to you. I was definitely in the right place. As gingers from 80 different countries, from as far as Australia and America, started to gather on these quiet Dutch streets. Are you just trying to fit in for the weekend? Exactly, yes, yes. If it's good, I have to be red. Right <laughs> if you want us to take the glasses off or spread the hair or whatever, no, no. just let us know. <laughs> you can spread the hair, whatever you want, man. Okay, man. <laughs> so what's your name and why are you here? Uh, I'm Stefan and I'm here because I wanted to meet Martina. I'm Martina and I'm here because I wanted to meet Stefan. <laughs> So we reached our goal. So you just get here on your own and it's the best thing because then you really have to get to know new people and that's what we do. It's all about reproducing, of course. Yeah. <laughs> he may have been joking, but I was then invited to a speed dating event where I thought it would be a good chance to introduce myself to fellow gingers. You could say it wasn't your average kind of speed date. I took my overloaded bike and unloaded it at the Redhead campsite. An old army barracks especially set up to cater for us travelling redheads. I got dressed and went back into the town for the meet and greet pub crawl. People were fully getting into the swing of it. So many gingers and so much enthusiasm. I found it bizarre and retreated as streams of redheads walked past arm in arm and to think that we were all here uniting over the colour of our hair. I'm, um... I got some Dutch courage to get back on the pub crawl trail. Well dude, why don't you just come with us, you know? If you just go by yourself, you seem like the lonely weird ginger anyway, so if you just join us. Luckily for me, these redheads were much more outgoing and sociable than I was and I wasn't left on my own for long. I bumped into Laura May, who's crown queen of the Irish Redhead Convention. But on my arrival here, I've met quite a few men that don't have red hair, which is perfectly normal. And I was asking them, you know, how, how come you're here or what brought you here? And they're here just because they're really attracted to red-headed women. Well, I wasn't chatted up by any red or non-redhead, but at least I was making friends. This is my redhead campsite on the uh, glorious parade Sunday and I'm wearing my purple shirt. Wearing the chosen colour of purple, people were getting ready for the big day, the aerial photograph where we would try to beat their own world record for the most amount of redheads gathered in one place. I followed streams of red and purple into the main square where thousands gathered. It's not everywhere. So it's nice to have 80 countries 
who is connected about hair color. That's a thing to be proud of. And so am I. Uh, and I hope that uh, the feeling that you will get, a feeling of bonding, a feeling of pride, will stay for you for a long time. We marched through the streets of Breda. The town had come out to see us. We were on display for everyone to see. And it was a very surreal moment being surrounded by so many other redheads. All 1,714 of us. Yes, a new world record. Why are you here? Hang out with gingers. Okay, red power. <laughs> this is not your first year, I understand. Uh, second time, mate. So, okay. I had good fun last year, so I came back. What is it about this sort of gathering that just made you want to come? I don't know. I think it's just nice being the majority for once. So it's just to fit in, I think. Find, find some belonging. As soon as I heard about it, I felt like I had to come, basically. Yeah. And. I came for the adventure to explore a new to explore a new place and to to be around other gingers, you know. The day was in full swing, and I figured I might as well get involved whilst I was here. More buttons are done now. I think it's my fourth or fifth time. I feel very special. Of a lot of photographers, and it's a special feeling. I I can't des describe it uh, exactly. When I heard about. Redhead days, I was like, oh, I have to go and experience that, and um, it's been really, really good. Um, I actually got choked up this morning seeing so many redheads in one spot, and it was so good because everyone was happy. <laughs> nobody was getting, uh, nobody was getting teased. Nobody was upset. Well, a lot of people here um, from different countries seem to have been bullied when they were younger because of their hair color, but we've never had that. They're just part of life. <laughs> they are. It's just normal person. They just have a different hair color. There's nothing else wrong yeah. with them. That's it. I then found myself surrounded by ginger hunks at the Red Hot Photo Exhibition. This guy? Yes. You're a lookalike. I think he's better looking though. Yes, it seemed like the whole of Breda was one big photo shoot. Everywhere you turn, somebody took your picture. I never experienced that before. It's just like you go here and everyone wants to take a photo. It's, yeah, it's strange, but it's cool, I think. <laughs> As for today, it was about us. We were the majority. We're all here together and we're all proud together and it's... <laughs> I'm going to cry. It's all, we're all really, really happy and safe here. <laughs> trying to explain to my closest friends they don't get it but the thing is they don't get it because they're not gingers that's it like as the festival drew to a close i gave my camera to my newfound ginger friends and soaked it up i had met many gingers from around the world all there for different reasons some to make friends and some i could tell were looking for more than that yes i would like some ginger babies <laughs> and uh, you can do the, the probability on the genetics, so meeting another redhead definitely helps. Some were looking for a sense of identity, a group to belong to. If I came here as a child, I think I would not feel so, so different. I know there, there are people like me, and I think it would make me stronger. And some like me were there out of curiosity. Which do you prefer, standing out from a crowd or being around fellow redheads and merging within the crowd? <laughs> it's difficult. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's cool. But we all shared similar experiences and we had that one thing in common. In gatherings like this it reinforce your belief in, in not just yourself but also kind of the, your identity as a, as a ginger or a red-headed person I think. So it's, it's really good. He's flying tonight. On the train back I bumped into a young redhead couple. I was intrigued if they had just met at the festival. I hate this to be your last experience together. We met at Ros Italia in Milan. Yes, a sort of redder days in Italy. <laughs> These gatherings clearly had a lasting effect on the people who attended them, and some more so than others. My ginger friends account had gone through the roof in one weekend. And just as I was getting used to being around so many redheads, it was over. And on the ferry, I found myself reflecting on my unusual weekend. And I found myself back to what I was used to, being in the minority. But in a strange way, seeing so many people celebrate their hair colour as part of their uniqueness, 
the festival did make me consider that being a redhead is still an intrinsic part of who I am. And I think I was starting to get it. And maybe I should embrace it. Stay there and hold it a bit.